Good morning. It's been so long since I've picked up the camera. Like I was doing so good for a while and I think I took like six months off of YouTube. Lately, I've been getting super back into wanting to do it, getting excited about like different ideas and stuff. So I figured I'd pick up the camera today and start filming and yeah, see if I can kind of get myself back into it. It's definitely going to be interesting because I was getting so comfortable with like just talking to the camera and like vlogging in public and not really caring and now I feel like I'm gonna have to kind of like build that confidence back up but that's fine and I'm about to do my skincare I always like to start my morning with my skincare that way my face just feels nice and fresh I love these headbands I have like a bunch of them but this one's my favorite right now. Chris always says I look like Birdo. I think it's from Mario Kart. I'm not totally sure, but if you don't know who that is, look up Birdo. It's like the pink thing. She has like a big bow on her head and a big rock on her fingers. <laughs> oh, I'm engaged, by the way. Um, I'll get into that all later. I have a bunch of like update and yeah, I'll just kind of chat and tell you guys a bunch. But yes, Chris and I are engaged. I'm going to do my skincare. So I do want to switch up my skincare routine a little bit. There's like a few products that I really want to try. I've been using certain ones for a while and I like them, but I don't know, I'm getting more into it. So I use this usually morning and night. I have a second cleanser that I use at night as well. That's the Murad one. I like the Murad one, but I accidentally got the one that's for oily skin and I have normal to dry skin, so it's a little too harsh. I feel like it's kind of drying me out right now. I want to switch up that one. And I've been using this one for years, so honestly, I think I'm kind of ready to switch this one up too. I really want to try the Kiehl's one and then... I don't know, maybe look into trying some other ones. And then I use the Vanity Planet Skin Brush. Also, I've used this for years. Game changer. I seriously love it. Highly recommend this brush. So nice we have medicine cabinets, like his and her ones. So I keep all my skincare in there. And then I do have a little breakout on the side of my face. So I was doing one of the, the spot patches last night. The ones that I really like are the Peace Out Acne brands. Well, it's Peace Out and then they're for acne, but I think these ones are really good. I usually just pop one of those on because I've been so bad about picking at my acne for the longest time and it would leave like red. Like, I don't know if you can still see, but I still have some scarring and stuff, like especially on this side um from picking up my acne so i'm trying to be really good about not doing that just leaving it alone putting a spot patch on it when i go to bed sometimes it's harder said than done like sometimes i see it i'm just like you know you want to get it and then my friend got me this little kit like you know how you can get the sample kits from different brands. She got me one of those from Glow Recipe. So I've been trying out a few of their products and honestly really like them. One of the ones that I've been trying out is the Glow Recipe Avocado Melt Retinol Eye Sleeping Mask. That's really interesting. I actually fully just read this whole thing. So I'm guessing you're supposed to only put it on at night. I put it on morning and day. So hopefully that's okay. I did just pick up the La Hendrickson Eye Brightening Cream. I've never tried it. I'm really excited to but I was waiting to go through this whole thing before opening it but maybe I'll just start using that during the day and this one at night instead and then next I go in with the glow recipe watermelon glow for tight toner I do really like this this is like obviously the little bottle so when I go through this I'm I'm gonna go get the big one because I do really like this as my morning toner and then I use a different toner at night which I can show you I just kind of spread that around and then I'll push it in to my skin as well skincare is something that I'm like really getting into lately I do have more acne prone skin and a bit dry skin so I've just really been trying to target that and sick of having acne so See, the one I use at night is the Ula Hendrickson Glow 2 OH Dark Spot Toner. I just started using it like only a few days ago. So I don't know how it's going to work so far, but I'm hoping it helps with maybe some of the scarring and all that. And then next, I'm going to go in with my moisturizer. Honestly, I don't have that many products in my morning routine. I usually have a few more in my night. I was doing Curology for a while, probably like last year. So I just have like a moisturizer left over from Curology. So I've been just trying to use that up. And then once I do, I'll switch to a different one. So this is my morning moisturizer. Then I have a different one at night. 
And then because I do use a retinol cream at night, I'm really, really careful with sun exposure. So this is the one I've been using. My friend recommended me this one. It's the Pacifica. Hopefully you can see that in the light. Vitamin C and C minerals and SPF and it's 55. And I really, really like it because a lot of sunscreens can just leave your face feeling so tacky or oily or just kind of gross after you use them. And I really like this one because it applies kind of just like a moisturizer and then dries down with the rest of your skincare and you can't even tell you have it on. So I think this one is honestly amazing. I'm probably gonna keep repurchasing this one. And then yeah, that's just my skincare for daytime. So whenever I have full days off of work and nothing like I really need to get done, I find it kind of hard to like be productive. I just grabbed like, we usually just use this for my grocery list on the fridge, but I kind of want to write down like all the things I want to get done today. I don't know, sometimes I feel like when I actually write it down and see everything, I'm a lot more likely to like actually do each thing. So a lot of times too, like, like I'll start to get kind of overwhelmed because I know I have a lot of stuff in my head that I want to get done and it'll kind of stress me out a little bit and then I, I'll notice that when I write it down and see that it's actually not that many things, I don't know, it makes me feel less stressed for some reasons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I only have eight things I want to get done today and honestly they're not like that big a deal. Like one of them is just working out, the other is cleaning. And then I want to try and make a reel today because I'm trying to get more into posting on my social medias and stuff. Like I've literally been saying for probably like two years now that I really want to, I don't know, put more effort into that. And then I always just kind of fall off, like how I fell off with YouTube and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm going to try make a reel today, post that. Also too, the reason that I took so long off of YouTube, I think is because I was kind of trying to figure out like what I wanted to do with it. When I first started, I was doing more like fitness videos and vlogging and stuff like that, which to be completely honest, I have fallen off a little bit. It's been really hard. We've been traveling a lot lately. We just are busy. And as much as I will always work out and stuff, I'm definitely not as strict about it as I once was. Like I was planning on doing a competition and all that. And I decided like, that's just not for me. Chris and I are really trying to enjoy the next few years as far as like traveling goes and going out because in the next few years we do plan on having kids and a lot does change when you have kids. And not saying that you can't have a life when you are super strict with fitness and a fitness competition, but it is a bit different. Like you do have to cut out certain foods and certain drinks and I mean, you can't drink alcohol and you're very dedicated to that. And I think that's amazing for some people. Personally, for me, I wasn't really willing to give up a lot of other aspects of our life to be able to do that. I want to shift my YouTube to doing more like weekly vlogs and then filming on the days I have off. And that way I don't feel so much pressure to just like vlog constantly on one day because I think that was part of the reason why I wasn't wanting to get back into it too is because it was kind of hard for me to just like spend an entire day just vlogging because you don't get anything else really done on that day. I do want to document a lot of our life like even the vlogs that we already did of us traveling and just being home and stuff it's so much fun to look back on those things and being able to see like oh where we were at this time versus now like already within the six months from when I stopped vlogging like we're engaged we're in our new house. I got promoted. Chris and I both got new jobs. Like so much has happened. I definitely want to document a lot more of our life. So then if there's ever like a week that I can't vlog, I'll either skip that week or I'll just upload like, a makeup video or fitness video or empty support, something. I have so many ideas, so I don't think that'll be a problem. Just making it more casual too. Like we can just like hang out. I like that. I think it's fun. And I like just like talking to the camera sometimes which sounds so funny saying that out loud, but it's true. It's kind of relaxing. I'm gonna drink my ass coffee. I'm gonna start cleaning, because <laughs> I really need to, and then get a workout in at some point. got done filming a reel like a makeup reel which is the first time I've ever done that so I'm really hoping it turned out good I look like a vampire 
I actually look like a vampire in this light. That's great. I did this like orange eye look with a dark red lip. I really like, let's see, what about over here? I just look really pale. Should probably do some fake tanning. Oh yeah, there we go. Maybe it's like a more closed up. Really like the way it turned out. Obviously I'm not going anywhere, so I'm probably just gonna wash it off. But it was fun. Like I love just like messing around with makeup and doing my makeup. I've always been interested in makeup and found it to be really fun. The palettes I used for the eyes were the Modern Renaissance palette, which I only use the color Real Gar. It's like the orange one in the corner right there. I point to it, but I only have two hands. And then I also use the ColourPop Wannabe palette, which is really pretty. I really recommend this palette. It's only like $15 from Ulta. The colors are really, really pretty. I use this one for the inner corner of the eye. No, sorry, this one for the lid, and this one, the middle one, for the inner corner of the eye. So yeah, really liked that. I'm honestly not doing much. I've been cleaning for the past few hours, which is nice, getting that done. Chris is currently out of town and he gets in tomorrow night. I love having a clean house to come home to when I've been traveling, so I like for him to have a clean house to come home to, but I really need to clean up all this because that is the aftermath of filming my reels. Good morning, it's the next day now and I'm just making myself some breakfast tacos, but I'm so excited because Chris actually, sorry if it's kind of loud with the sauteing, but Chris actually gets in tonight, so he's been gone all week. If you want to know where he's been and hear that whole story, I think we're going to film like a video talking about the engagement and everything that happened in St. Lucia when he gets back, so that all of that explaining will be on that video. But yeah, I'm gonna go pick him up from the airport tonight. I don't think he gets in until like midnight though. It's been so long, but. Potatoes, onions, and bell pepper in the pan right now. And then I'm gonna add some black beans, the eggs, a little bit of Mexican cheese on top. And then I'm also gonna do some tortillas and hot sauce. I'm gonna try and get a workout in just like a quick one honestly my legs are kind of sore from the one i did yesterday even though it was pretty light i'm just getting back into it after not really working out for a while so i'm gonna make that i'll show you guys what it looks like when it's all done because it's super yummy and tasty i made the exact same thing yesterday for breakfast and it was really good and then i do need to go grocery shopping at some point so i think i'm gonna head to trader joe's because i haven't really been there in a while we usually switch back and forth from like heb and trader joe's here's the breakfast tacos and i'm just gonna top it off with some of this hot sauce slap your mama i think we got it in new orleans when we were there i've been getting a bit more into spicy food so i love adding hot sauce too things especially breakfast stuff so i'm gonna eat these and chill out watch some more youtube today is probably gonna be pretty chill it's just like honestly this whole week is pretty chill we don't have too many plans normally on tuesdays we go on our weekly date night but since he's not getting in until midnight obviously we're not gonna do that this week so but next week we are we actually have some fun plans next week like we have date night on Tuesday, we have a concert on Wednesday with some of our friends. We have a soccer game to go to this Sunday, which I think will be part of this vlog, not that one. So yeah, some fun stuff. But today will probably be more chill other than like the grocery shopping. I just put my hair up in a claw clip really quick, just so I don't have to do it. And then here's how my makeup turned out. I think it's cute. It's more on the golden side, which I usually like. And then just like a warmer, darker nude lip. And then I just am wearing my Seattle crew neck that I got when I visited my sister. And then these cute shorts that honestly I'm obsessed with. They're from Target. And I really like the length of them because I hate when shorts have your butt kind of hanging out. I like them to be fully covering. And then just some sandals. So that's all I'm wearing. And I'm going to head to Trader Joe's and try and get our fridge stock before Chris gets home because it's looking really sad right now. There's like nothing in it. Trader Joe's is the best for like just quick easy like meals sometimes like microwave stuff which i try not to eat too many like microwavable meals i try and cook most of our stuff but every once in a while after like a 12 hour shift i'm just like i can't be helped so i secured the goods and i stocked up on eight bottles 
worth of wine for us to try. So that'll be fun. I just grabbed a bunch of different ones. I just got home, figured I'd show you guys which wines I got. I think I've maybe tried this one, but other than that, all of them are new. I figured it'd be fun just to kind of, oh, just kidding, I have tried at least one of these ones. But I figured it'd be fun to just grab a bunch of random bottles and then try them all. So my favorite wine is a Sauvignon Blanc, which is like a white wine. Chris's favorite is a Cabernet Sauvignon. So I just got a bunch of different ones of both of our favorites. Yeah, we're gonna try a few of these and see which ones we like and then just keep trying different ones. I got Josh, Carnivore, just the regular like Trader Joe's brand. And then also a Trader Joe's Petite Reserve. I got one Rosé and then the three Sauvignon Blancs I got is just the regular Trader Joe's brand. And then I also got a Marlboro, which is a New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc of all like locations for wine, that's not the right word. I'm not sure what the word is that I'm trying to think of, but like vineyard area. Region, I think it's region. Of all the regions, my favorite is New Zealand for some vlogs. They're really, really good. And then I also got this one, which is a New Zealand one as well, which is, oh, it says Marlboro. So is it the same brand? I think so. Oh no, this one is Tao Tea. Tao Tea. And this one's Savion Republic are the brands. And then I guess Mal, Mar, La, I'm butchering that. Anyways, that's like the type of Savion Blanc. Got a few nice wines to try. I think I'm going to clean up the kitchen a bit, hang out. Probably going to pour myself a glass of one of these. And then, yeah, just wait until later to be able to go pick Chris up from the airport. I'll just stay up and wait for him. I am like really in the mood to like hang out with my girlfriend, one of my girlfriends today, but unfortunately they're like all out of town. Like one's in Dallas, one's in LA, and the other one is at Disneyland. So I'm like, oh, none of you girls are here to grab a glass of wine or a drink with me, but it's okay. Hopefully, I know I'm seeing some of our friends on Wednesday, so that'll be nice. And once I have Chris back, at least I'll have him to hang out with. Definitely have been bored and lonely the past few days, so I'm excited to have some social time. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hi, love. Hey, it's the next day now. I'm just hanging out, sipping on some wine. It's actually like 5 p.m. or 6 p.m. already. Chris has been working all day. I went for a run earlier, even though it feels like a million degrees outside. It's like 90 degrees today. Honestly, it's been a pretty chill day. So I want to sit down with him maybe next week and film a whole chatty sit down video talking about us getting engaged in our time in St. Lucia and I do have like a video or two that I'm going to throw in there as well. Hopefully we can sit down and do that next week at some point. I tore the rhinestones and my fake eyelashes off so I'm looking a little <clears throat> rough but after going on my run my leg is really hurting and I am so curious if anyone else gets this too. I think it's something that runs in our family. We've called them leg pains ever since I was little and when I was younger I always thought that like that was just a normal thing that a lot of people got and then the more people I would talk to I'd realize like that's not normal it's really hard to explain but it's almost like when my legs are super exhausted I'll get it and sometimes it's in both legs sometimes it's in one but it's pretty much just like the entire leg feels dead and kind of like aching in pain and I don't know if it has to do with bad blood circulation that runs in our family or what but my mom my sister I don't know if my sister still gets it my mom said she got it until like she was in her 20s but I definitely still get it a decent amount whenever I'm tired or work long shifts or whatever probably should go to the doctor and see what that's all about but I'm curious if anyone else gets that or has that in their family because yeah it's super obnoxious <laughs> I signed up for a like makeup master class tomorrow with Jamie Genevieve um she's hosting it so I think I'm gonna do that which I'm really excited about because I'm definitely trying to get more into makeup. And then I want to go and get the Alex drawers from Ikea. It's like the ones that a lot of makeup artists or makeup influencers, whatever, use to store their makeup and then turn it into a desk. Because Chris has a desk. I mean, he has an office that he works out of where I don't really have, you know, room to sit and do anything for the longest time. I was just standing in the bathroom to do my makeup. And then now I've been bringing it to the kitchen and doing it on the counter. And it's 
just kind of obnoxious to pull everything out and put it all over the counter and then put everything away every single day when I try and do my makeup. So it'd be nice if I just had a dedicated desk to my makeup and then eventually I could get like a ring light and maybe some backdrops and just make my filming a little bit easier. And then too, like when I just want to sit at a desk and get some editing done, that would be nice as well. But anyways, I will see you guys tomorrow. And hello, welcome to the day. I This is my first time talking to the camera today. I've just been running errands all day and stuff. I am doing, I'm following Jamie Genevieve Masterclass, learning about her new product, and then she's going to walk us through a tutorial today too. Bad lighting. Adjust, adjust. So now focus. <laughs> so that's kind of fun. I'm just literally sitting here drinking my coffee, watching her live, learning about some new products. I love stuff like this. And just like watching someone do a tutorial and chat and stuff. I think it's always so much fun, especially when it's someone that I followed for so long. I just finished up with the masterclass by Jamie Genevieve and Vive, which is her makeup brand. And she actually launched a limited edition product, which doesn't even get released for like a week but the people on the master class were able to purchase it and i told myself i'd be good and not get anything because i haven't even tried her makeup brand at all yet like any of the products but when i heard limited edition i was like i don't want to miss out whatever so i got it and then i can swatch it and probably do like a either a makeup reel or makeup tutorial using that and then i also got her foundation brush because i really want to try new foundation brush mine has been leaving my skin i don't know i just don't really like the way it applies so i want to try hers and see how it is so hopefully i get those in soon and i can film with them